Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Country Morning Creations and I am so excited to share with you my Outlander journal. This has literally been six months in the making. I started out, I had found some online digital kits that were Outlander-ish, but I wasn't happy with any of them, so I set out to make my own and I collaborated with my friend Veronica, who's also a co-worker worker, and our art teacher at our school as well. And I had her do some gorgeous uh, watercolors. She also did a set of black and white drawings. Uh, and so you'll see throughout this, I'll point out all the different things that I've created for this. These digital kits will be available also on my Etsy shop, but these are all based on the Outlander book as well as the Outlander series. So although this is Outlander stuff, there's only one piece that's actually trademarked Outlander from the television show on Stars, and that's this piece of tartan. So let me set this book aside. So again, Outlander by Diana, and I've heard it pronounced Gabaldon, I've heard it pronounced Gabaldon. I really need to have her pronounce it for me. I'll look that up at some point. But I love both the books and the series. So let's start with the cover. It is eight and three quarters this tall. It is um, about six inches wide. It has a two inch spine. It, I've used the hard board, the, um, it's not melamine, but it's, uh, oh, it's a wood product. Anyway, it's really hard and it won't warp unless you really, really go to soaking, soaking wet. On the back, I have included, this is a piece that is from my, uh, my digital kit and a little piece of the book. This is the part where the ladies are dancing around the stones. And then I've used this luscious, luscious, uh, really vintagey looking muslin on the cover. Again, like I said, it's got a two inch curved spine. And then we get around to the front of the book, there is just some stuff going on. I had a really tough time. I wanted to balance this and not have it be too masculine or too feminine. I wanted a really nice balance. So I started out and you'll see it's really gaitered. So I made a belt for it. This looks like to me, it's to resemble the belt that Claire loses when she goes through the stones when she um, in the TV show. This is a similar brown. It is actually that brown suede that has all of the beautiful, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's embossed and it's really beautiful. This is a Tim Holtz belt buckle and I've made a couple of places. So if it gets more full, you've got room to expand. This is actually from a, a, a shop called the Celtic Croft. This is the polyester version. I did not get the wool kind. I really felt that would be too thick for this book. I wanted more of the polyester, but this is the trademarked tartan from the TV show. This is a copy, so I printed this out. The original piece that my friend Veronica did is huge. Would not fit on a journal or even in as a page. So this is part of that printable kit, one of the digital kits that I've put some lace around it. And then of course, because this is all time travel related, I have put some time clock pieces. There's a little bit of seam binding and some lace, and then the word Sassanach, which comes from, again, my, uh, my digital kits that I have. And a lot of this, I'm going to just turn my light a little bit better so that hopefully this shows up better. Anyway, so this also came from that digital kit that I made. Let's get into the inside, which I have cram packed. It has 180 pages. This belt actually comes completely off. So you can just take that off all together. On the inside, I have, this is called the Highlands Bride, and it is, it has a thistle and a dragonfly, which is a repeating theme 
in the Outlander series. I've sewn some muslin to this page. Now these are the heavier weight coffee dyed pieces of paper. So they're very thick and you can hear it. They are actually fountain pen friendly. When I write on the pieces of paper that I use, I don't have any bleed through. I can't guarantee you won't have bleed through, but it's very friendly. So if you want to use a fountain pen in here, you're more than welcome to. It's been coffee dyed with acid neutral coffee, and this is 28 pound hammer mill uh, acid neutral also. So everything in here is acid neutral as far as my papers. Now these are probably not acid neutral. You can see that they have aged. This has a flintlock rifle on it. So that's a dictionary page from a 1930s secretary's desk. And then I have some original old antique French pieces in here as well. This is the first one. I have put the pictures in in the chronological order for the series. So this one is Inverness, which actually we know is not the true town of Inverness. That's somewhere else but that's what they used for the show. Then also, because Claire is a botanist, I've included, this is a separate botanist um, digital kit that I have. So there's some sage. And then I have a Rita Donnelly flip. If any of you are familiar with her work, she's fabulous. So this actually flips up and can be a writing space. It's also a pocket. So again, this is a set of cards that you can get in the digital kit. I also have some paper. This is also a printable that I've done and it's the dragonfly with the thistles. So you have some extra writing. And then this is a custom uh, journaling card that I made and I have four of these as well. They have real pieces of the book in them and some different parts and they are backed onto coffee dyed paper as well so that you can write on the backs of them. And those all just slide back in there. And there'll be a couple of pockets that have similar items in them. But as you can see, I like to actually leave a lot of pages completely blank so that you have room to add whatever you would like. Um, I love, this is tracing paper. It's a really heavy quality tracing paper and it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. I love that. This is out of a Field Flowers book that I have. And then here we have the Standing Stones. And this one is an interesting tuck spot too. I don't know who originated this. Oops, I seem to have glued it shut. Let me see if I can unglue that. There we go. So this flips open and there's even more writing space here and it's just held shut by this little dragonfly. Again, um, I just took a little piece. I had some leftover pieces of coffee dyed paper from cutting things out. So I just glued a little thistle. That's a little tiny thistle. These are one inch, so I just use my one inch hole punch. And then there's another one, that's Slange. So some of these are the Celtic or Scottish words that come from the show. And that's simply a toast that is made. And some of you may recognize Lollabrock, which is actually Midhope Castle in reality. We'll tuck those back in there. And so I have done some digital stamping. Whoops! I've done some digital stamping as well. And again, the dragonfly with the thistles, it's a repeating theme throughout this journal. More just blank coffee dyed papers. Everything is five hole pamphlet stitched into the hollow back spine. I, for me personally, I love the five hole pamphlet stitch. It's the only thing I feel like I can get a really, really secure uh, grip on it. Then I have throughout here, these are just paper clips that have some torn muslin tied to them. I have a couple, um, actually I have three of these. This is at one of the printables from the digital kit. And I love how you see all the muslin and then the, the jute twine as well, just poking out of the top. This is a piece of genuine French ephemera as well as an old, let's see, what is this? 1921 ledger. I felt real ledger was really important to use in this. 
because frequently they're talking about Jamie going over the ledgers. So if you know anything about the show, Jamie is always going over the ledgers. Then this is Claire in the gardens, and I can't remember the name of the first place she goes to. So she's come through the stones and Jamie has taken her. This is where um, Dougal and the Laird all live. Drawing a total blank on it right now. I've also included some just lined paper. Again, this one has a thistle and then, I don't know if you can see that, there's a little tiny bee also. You'll see bees, butterflies, and dragonflies throughout this, which is a lot of what I have. Here is another herb that's garlic. She, and I looked these up. These are all actually used for medicinal purposes. I have a little tuck spot here. Again, another copy of Lollabrock. This one says Dunna Fash, which means don't worry. And then another copy of The Highlander's Bride, but you can write on the back of it again. Tons and tons of writing space. I know a lot of people say they have a lot of writing space, but um, I actually do. <laughs> so you have the back side of that ledger and some more. And I have left all the threads long, and I mean really long. I just love, love, love having really long threads. So this is a little bit more of that tartan that I've sewn in here. And, oh, this is actually the chapter on the water horse where she meets the Loch Ness Monster. I thought that was really cool that that was actually in the book. It's not included at all in the TV show, but it is in the book. And some more French ephemera. This is Claire's surgery. And I love how Veronica got the light coming in through the window amazing 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 this is another tag that i have and this is again with the standing stones more of that digital printing here is another rita donnelly flip that this time i did not glue shut in here again i have some more pieces this is another nickname that Jamie has for Claire. I'm not even going to pronounce it, uh, but it means my brown-haired lass or my brown-haired daughter. More of that paper that has the dragonfly and the thistles on it. This one I thought was really cool. This one's got the stag head on it. And fennel. So there's some fennel. And this is the other half of that chapter pretty much and then more of that uh, linen that I tore up this is another piece of pages that this one has the little dragonfly in it and it's all lined paper I know that some people prefer lined paper so I thought I would include some in this journal this is Fort William where both Claire and Jamie end up repeatedly under the thumb of Black Jack Randall. Bad guy, boo. I have a pocket. This is actually the very center of the journal. And in this pocket is actually two pieces. This one has, this is a large-ish tag that has, again, Craig Nadoon, the standing stones. And then there's Claire again at the castle. Coriander, which is, again, a really good herb. A lot of these herbs are really good if you have stomach problems. Now, I'm not saying you should use them if you have stomach problems. I'm just saying they're really good for that. Uh, Edith Holden, book page. And then uh, more of that French ephemera. I get all of my French ephemera from Monaghan's Papers, pretty much. And I couldn't resist. I had to have more of the tracing paper. This one's Germander, Germander. Um, again, a good herb. Another large tag held on with the paper clips that have the torn. Uh, now I just called it whatever it's supposed to be and I've completely lost it. I'm so excited about this book. I, I'm losing my mind actually, <laughs> I think so. More of that digital stamping. This is the wedding chapel from the TV show. And then another Rita Donnelly flip. It's called a Rita Donnelly flip because she was kind of the first person to do these flips. 
and there's a little dragonfly there. Inside this pocket, this one says, Je suis prêt. This is the first one that's French and the only one that is a French saying that I included. And this is supposedly the saying or motto for the Fraser clan. Another piece of paper, that one has the little B and another one of my custom done journaling cards. And these have been backed with coffee dyed paper. And again, that coffee dyed paper is acid neutral. I know a lot of people say it doesn't matter unless you're keeping your journal for hundreds of years. Um, I just believe in taking that extra special step to make sure my journals are the best they can be in the highest quality. Again, a little bit more of that tartan. So this is again, the official tartan from the Outlander TV series. Some more French ephemera, some more of that um, ledger paper out of that same book that was from the 1920s. This is blank. I have some that has paper, some that have writing in them and some that don't. Again, one more. This is the one that has the butterfly on it. So one more thing of paper that is lined. Let's see if I can get it to go back under the paper clip. There we go. And this was one that Veronica did of the wedding. So there's Claire in her wedding dress and Jamie in his tartan. And some basil. Yum. Now I'm thinking Italian food and I'm getting myself hungry. Another tuck spot. This is the one with the uh, deer head and some more paper and another one of those custom um, journal cards. And then we get into here. Here's some more that is from the uh, from the book, this is the part where Jamie, after the witch trial, Jamie takes Claire back to the stones. So this is this part. And some more Edith Holden. And finally we go, after that we go to Lolly Brock. She finally says, take me home to Lolly Brock. This is another one of those tuck spots that also eek, is a flip so you can Write your secret thoughts in here and keep them safe. Another one of these journaling cards. This is a thistle with a bee on it. More of that music and another one of those custom journal cards that I did using all the little pieces. And what's nice is you can see this fairly lays flat. Now, of course, I've got, this is a thick journal, but you pretty much are going to find that it lays fairly flat. Another one of those tags. This one just has the thistle on it. And the rest of that art, that uh, chapter. This has the, let's see if it's on this side. It is. So this has the definition for Laird. Um, a lord, the master of a landed estate. In other words, an estate with land in it. I included that dictionary page and another French music, Rosemary. And lavender, we all know lavender is great for calming our nerves. The last pocket, another Rita Donnelly flip with a little tiny ticket that has a bee and a thistle. And then this one is the dragonfly and the thistle. Another one with the, um, the standing stones and another piece of paper. So those are all folded up nicely. We come to the end here with the rest of it and then we have the back of the book here. So let me show you what I mean by a hollow back binding. A lot of times you'll have a book and it will, uh, it's sewn either, it's glued to the spine or it's, or it's sewn through the spine. When I do a hollow back binding you can see actually it goes down in there and it's, it releases so that when you open the book now, everything is lying flat. You don't have pages that are trying to go down into the curve of the spine. So I hope that you have enjoyed this flip through. If you are interested in this journal, it will be listed in my Etsy shop unless you see sold in the comments. Then you'll know that some lucky person has already gotten it. Um, I must say I'm already hesitant to sell it because 
Um, I have put so much time and energy into this and I just love, love, love this journal. I love all the parts of it and everything. So again, the, the, the belt comes off. You can move it however you would like to. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through and I hope I've inspired you to be creative.